gardens are here since 1795. They started out as a very small garden, what they call a medic garden or a physic garden. Uh, they were experimenting with medicines from plants and that kind of thing. A lot of gardens started out like that. And then, if you came here before the 1830s, we'd turned into a kind of a, uh, an agricultural research garden. So you would have seen plants here and crops. They were researching um, new strains of crop and that kind of thing. And you'd also see animals here, farm animals. So it wasn't really till the 1830s, we got a man called Ninian Niven. He was a, a landscape gardener, so he was one of the first real landscape gardeners. He came in as curator, he was the top man at the time, and he turned it into a more modern garden. Um, he laid out the paths as they are today, so they laid out in a very Victorian style. And he got a bit of extra land, he brought it up to what it is now, which is 48 acres. Um, so, it, it, the modern garden, I suppose, dates from that period, from the 1830s. And then we were here through thick and thin, right through Irish history, we were here through the Irish famine. There was a lot of research done on the, on the um, potato famine, on the blight. Yeah. They had a fair idea what was causing the blight, but they couldn't quite figure it out. They couldn't quite uh, work out uh, a cure, I suppose, um, which is unfortunate. Um, but I suppose that's the most interesting part of the history, then there's lots of other little bits from then on, but the early Victorian times was the most interesting part, really. Mm. 